Yeah, thanks to OBS. OBS is our software device. Echo, whoa, whoa. Okay, so what we're doing is we're helping you out on Pascal's as well as the remainder theorem. Awesome. So let's see which one we can help you on. So probably like maybe six or seven. Hmm? I'll let you try seven. Do the six power. Yeah. Let's see here. Awesome. But we'll go ahead and try number six to help you out there. Do the fifth power. Now think about it. We're going to be using row five for question six. Wait a second. We'll do an easier one first. Okay. We'll start off in the beginning. Let's do an easier one. So for example, maybe number one. There's number two to check your answer. Don't see how it alternates with your minus symbol there, which is awesome. Uh, but let's take a look at number one first. So row three uses one, three, three, one. Did you check your answer for number two? Let me move that down. Whoa. There we go. Check your answer for number two there. Okay, awesome. So now we're checking out to help you there with number one. So we write row three, which is one through three, one. Where did that come from? So one, then one, one, then one, two, one, then one, three, three, one. Adding the numbers for Pascal's triangle. <coughs> so definitely we're going to use one, three, three, one, which is row three, which is awesome. Oh no, the bell. We're good, don't worry. Okay, so we're going to take that first term, x, and we'll go ahead and use a green color there. And so we'll use green. And so everywhere along the 1, 3, 3, 1, we're just going to put the number, the letter x, which is the first term of our binomial. Then we're going to go ahead and expand it. Let's see here's what we're doing. So we're going to use the highest power first. So since it's row 3 is what we're doing, we'll start with 3. So we'll go 3, power 3, then 2, then 1, then 0. Then we'll go ahead and use the next term. So that one's done. That was fast. Then we'll go ahead and do in red the number 5. And so we're going to go ahead and do 5. That's the second term of our binomial there. And we're going to write 5 in parentheses all the way across, just like that. And we'll go ahead and uh, put plus in between each one, because it is a plus. Um, then we're going to use a red again. And this time we'll do the powers. So the power is instead of 3, 2, 1, 0, so high to low, now we're going to do low to high. So we're going to go low, which is 0, and then 1, 2, 3. Beautiful. So then we're going to go ahead and just go through each term now. Go through each term and make sure we did it all correct. So we're going to go ahead and um, so 5 to the 0 power is just a 1. And so we have x cubed times 1 times 1 is just x cubed. So there's the first part of our answer. Um, then we're going to do 3 times 5, and 3 times 5 is 15. That's it. 3 times 5 is 15, because 5 to the first power is just 5 times 3. Then x squared. Bring down the x squared. Okay, then we're going to do 3x times uh, 5 squared. And so 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25. And then bring down the 3, so 25 times 3 is 75. So 75, and then don't forget your x. Bring down your x to the first power. Then we'll do a plus, and x to the 0 power is just a 1. Anything to the 0 power is just a 1. So then all we have for the last term is 5 times 5 times 5, which is 25 times 5, which is 125. So there's our first answer there for number 1. Nailed it. Nailed it. OK. So we have our answer for number two, but maybe you're like, I don't know how you got to that new bulb. So I'll kind of set that up and do it kind of faster for you there. How do we even get that answer for number two? Since you're learning and watching this video with me, I'll show you, which is awesome. Excellent. So again, we use row three, which again is one, three, three, one, like this. And then we take that first term, which is three x. And we write it everywhere. 3x, 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 3x. Then we take this. Oh, then we got to do the powers next. And so the powers is 3, because it's row 3, 2, 1, 0, like that. Remember this? You're getting the hang of it? 
Um, so then we do the next term, and the next term is negative y. So you're going to have to put negative y all the way across. And that negative y might, yes, it will, change the sign of a couple of our terms to negative. Um, the odd powers will, will stay negative. And so now instead of doing 3, 2, 1, 0, we're going to do 0, 1, 2, 3. But guess what? To know if you're doing it right, um, to know if you're doing it right, I also notice that the powers, they actually add up to the row. What? The powers add up to the row. What do you mean? Well, like 3 plus 0, so 3 plus 0 is 3. Or 2 plus 1 is 3. They all add up to 3 because it's row 3. What? Okay, awesome. So now at this point, this might be the tricky part for you. Let's see. Is you have to take that 3 and distribute it to the um, x and the 3. So we get 3 to the third power, x to the third power. Anything to the 0 power is just 1. So 1 times 1 times that. So then 3 times 3 times 3 is uh, 3 times 9 is 27. So that's where we got the 27. And then the x cubed. Brilliant. Then we have that negative. And since it's to the first power, it'll just stay negative 1. And so the negative comes to the front, and the y goes to the back. And then we have 3 squared. And so 3 squared and x squared. So 3 squared, x squared. And so that's 9. And then bring down the 3. So 3 times 3 times 3 is 27 again. And then we have the x squared. And then brought down the y. Beautiful. Making sense? Now this one is actually negative y times negative y. And so negative y times negative y is y squared. A positive though, a positive y squared. Because negative times negative is a positive. And then we have 3x times 3 is 9x. So there's our 9x. <coughs> then 3x to the 0 power just becomes a 1. And 1 times 1 is just 1. And then negative y times negative y times negative y is negative to negative is a positive, but times a negative is a negative. And then y times y times y is y cubed. Beautiful. Making sense. Okay, the last one we'll do, maybe a harder one, is um, row, maybe row 5. There we go. So we'll go ahead and do row 5 there is what we're going to do for this one. So now, what is row 5? Well, it's going to have 5 in it. So we have 1, 1, 1. Then we have 1, 2, 1. That's row 2. Row 3. Row 4. So then row 5 is going to be 1, 5. 6 plus 4 is 10. Six, 4 plus 6 is 10. And then 5 and then 1. So we're going to go and use it symmetrically, right? We're going to use 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. That's to help us get our coefficients in the front, which is awesome. So 1, 5, 10, 5, 1. So that's what we're going to do for number 6. And then you try it on number 7. So we're going to go 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Cool. So there's our coefficients. Um, then we'll go ahead and use the first term, which is just x, which will be pretty easy. Remember, it's just x is all the way across. I want you to pause me now. Pause me. Pause. Pause me. Do it. Pause me. I want you to try it on your own. See if you can take it from here. Pause me. Try it. Okay, so after you pause me, did you pause me? Okay, then we'll go through it with you. So we're doing row 5. So just check your answer now, right? See if you did it right on your own. So we're going to do row 5. So we start with 5, then 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Beautiful. And then we're going to get the 2y, which we'll do in red. Awesome. So then we'll do 2y everywhere. And that 2 will affect it. We're going to do 2y, 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 2y. Okay, and then instead of doing highest to lowest, we're going to do what? Say it. I can hear you. Good job. Lowest to highest. So we're going to do 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5. Lowest to highest. Lowest power 0 to highest power 5. Now we're just going to take each term. Luckily, they're all pluses. Lucky. So we're going to take each term and multiply it out and make sure that we did everything right. Add them all together, then we're done. So 2 to the 0 power is just 1, goes away. So we just bring down our x to the 5th power. Then we got to 2y to the 1st power is just 2y, times 5 is 10. 
So we have plus 2 times 5 is 10. Let's do x to the fourth first, then y next. Plus, now we're going to distribute that. So 2 times 2 is 4y, and 4 times 10 is 40. And then bring down the x to the third power, and y squared. Don't forget the squared. Excellent. Plus, so that 10 became a 40 now. Then we have 3, um, so we're doing 2y to the third power, which is 2 to the third, y to the third, which 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, y to the third power. Then we do 8 times 10, which is 80. Excellent. Then we bring down our x squared next, after we did 8 times 10 is 80. And then we bring down our y to the third power. You got this. There we go. So then we're going to jump over here next. <coughs> and we're going to go ahead and do, let's see here. So, whoa, 2 to the 4th, y to the 4th. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 to the 4 is 16. So 2 to the 4th power is going to be 16. So we're going to do 16, y to the 4th. We still have our x to the 1st and our 5. So now we have to do 5 times 16. I don't even know what that is. So then we do 5 times 16 is 80 again. Cool. <coughs> so then we have plus, plus 80, because 5 times 16 is 80. Good. And then we have x to the first power, and then y to the fourth power. And now we're on our last one. x to the 0 goes away. It just becomes a 1. 1 times 1 times 1. And then we have 2 to the fifth, and y to the fifth. Excellent. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 times 2 is 32. So we have 32. 2 to the fifth power is 32, and then y to the fifth power. That's it. Nailed it. So there's our answer for number 6. So try 7 and 5 and 4 and 3 and learn Pascal's. Excellent. Okay, there we go. So then I'll probably do another one for the remainder one. Let me see how much time we're on with our new program. <coughs> Ooh, 12 minutes. Yeah, so I'll do another one. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Peace out.